Hi everybody, I'm Dana, aka Weirdo Chick, and I'm here with Magnolia Belly Dance, Hi. who is also a belly dance YouTuber. Mm -hmm. It hasn't really been done before in the community, but I think definitely it's about time. The internet is the center of society now, and if you're not on it, you pretty much don't exist. So this is really the way that we kind of make our mark and leave a lasting impression and also help counter those misconceptions around belly dance. Tell all of our lovely watchers a little bit about yourself if they haven't seen your channel or are seen what you do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm a belly dancer, of course. I do more oriental style, modern oriental, but I've been dancing for 10 years, almost 11 years. <laughs> and I live in the Atlanta area, so I dance with a lot of local dancers there. What got you started? Oh, good question. Uh, that was actually my best friend in high school. She, Her family is Iranian, and so I was 17 when I met her, and actually I have a video about this on my YouTube channel. It's called My Belly Dance Story. Uh, she showed me a belly dancer on YouTube, and I was like, oh my god, yeah. this is like the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. Yeah. You know, it just caught me instantly. Like, I was really never that interested in dance beforehand, but when I saw a belly dancer, I was like, that's it. Right. You know? Yeah. You know. I know. You know. Like, <laughs> know. Yeah, so it's so different and it's, it just seems so strong and she was so confident and so like the hip movements all just make a lot of sense. Like when I started learning it, some of the new movements felt really natural and really right to my body, you know? And so I was hooked. What is one of your favorite baby belly dancer memories? Oh, that's such a good question. Favorite baby belly dancer first time I performed a solo on stage? That one. That's yeah. A good one. I still remember it because I was so nervous for like a week beforehand. Like I could barely eat and I was like, everything's horrible. And the community where I was, it was so supportive and they were so sweet. And when I was backstage, I was flipping out and I was almost didn't want to do it. I was almost gonna like walk out and not dance. And one of the belly dance mamas there was like, no, you have to do this. You're gonna feel bad if you don't do it. You gotta go through with it. And, and so I went on stage and I did it. And it's a terrible performance, but <laughs> <laughs> it's also on my YouTube channel. It's terrible, but-, but it's awesome. It's, I mean, that's, it's your first, right? But it, you have to, like you have to grow from somewhere. And I don't think if I had had that really supportive community and that push, yeah. I, I don't think I would be where I am right now with dance. So, and I was really lucky because I was in a really small rural town and so this was the only belly dance group there was so I was lucky that they were very supportive and very accepting, you know, because I honestly I wouldn't be a professional belly dancer if I hadn't met them. Right. So I wouldn't. Right. At all. Yeah. So, See, it's important yeah. to be nice. <laughs> Look what you can create. Yeah. If you were a nice mentor touring person, even if you're in the smallest town in the middle of nowhere. If you want to talk about it, you don't have to. Uh, lowest moment in your belly dance career so far. Lowest moment, yes. Like um, an injury or... The time uh, I almost quit belly dance, how yes, about that? Yes, yes, oh, yeah. we all have it. I started doing the competition scene a lot, like I was going to pretty frequent competitions and preparing for those. Oh yeah, that's hard. It's, it's really hard, it can be really great for a lot of reasons, but right. also really negative for right. a lot of reasons. And I won't get into all of that, but of basically course. towards the end of that pathway, I almost quit belly dance forever again. Because every time I would try to practice or look in the mirror or prepare choreography, I felt like garbage. Not because no, of how, yeah. not only because of how I looked, but I just felt like the dance didn't have the same meaning for me anymore. Like the passion wasn't there. Why was I doing this? What are these goals? Are these goals true goals or are they shallow goals? Yeah, that's important. You know, and it, it completely turned me off to dance and myself and this whole depression thing and other life stuff was involved as well, but um, that was only two years ago that I almost quit forever. Oh wow, I, I was going to right sell, after that. Yeah, yeah, I was going to sell everything and yeah. like delete everything. You are not alone. You are not alone. I hear this from dancers all the time. Yeah. The way that I got out of it was to, I spent uh, yeah, six so months hard. on a break from dance. I didn't dance at all. I didn't watch videos. I didn't do it. I left my costumes alone. Um, and I reassessed all of my goals. And I found for myself, what do I want belly dance to be for me? Like, what really is going to be important for who I am and really going to make me happy? Not yeah. superficial stuff. Yeah. And so... For the long term. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you have to reassess yourself. Like, check in with your goals. But with everything. And it's a lot of work to do something that you love. And you have to make sure that you continue to love the same thing, yes. right? Yeah. So, like, we evolve as people, 
we have to check in with that because it's not for for everyone. It's not always going to be the same thing. Absolutely, it's not bad if you want to stop. Yeah. That's that's a really good point. I tell it to people all the time. Like it's okay if you want to break. Yeah, it's okay to take. I took six month break. I mean, it's okay. It is. Yeah. You have to do what's right for you, and it's not like you're gonna take a break and then never come back. Yeah. If you really truly love it, it's a part of your life. It's always gonna be there. But yeah. if you do decide to quit forever, that's okay too. Amasella said something in her interview yeah. that I just cannot stop repeating, and she says, um, "Being a dancer doesn't wash off." And That's so, beautiful. right? It's like a quote. I'm gonna like blast it. That's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. This yeah. exactly summarizes what we're talking about. Yeah. You know? So, like, even if you stop belly dancing or even if you aren't doing it as hard as you were doing it before, like, you're still gonna be a dancer. Mm -hmm. So, there's no guilt in it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's gonna be a part of you no matter what. <laughs> Thank you so much for filming this video with me. Yeah, thanks for inviting me to do this. Fantastic. I love it so much. And hopefully we will do more videos in the future. We see each other at events a couple times a year, so I think we can. Yeah. Yeah. So Magnolia Dance is also on YouTube and uh, social media. So I will have her links in the description. And we will see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, you can have that in. Like, right? <laughs> it's like, wrap up.